Hey guys, so somebody asked me, do you need to get a sales job before becoming an entrepreneur? Short answer is no. Short answer is no. The most important thing you can do as an entrepreneur is to have a product or service that uh, might have a demand. So what do I mean by that? Products that are successful typically are products that you're able to realize Maybe you're, you're working at your desk, say, you know, I could use something that does this, or I could use a piece of software that does this. You realize that there's, a, there's something that you want, or you recognize that the industry may want, because you maybe have some domain knowledge, you understand that industry. So you realize that there's something there, but hey, maybe I can fill that niche. Maybe I could uh, develop a product or service that people might need. So yes, ultimately, you're gonna need to be able to sell that product, but I think the more important thing is A, to come up with at least the prototype, the alpha version, if you will, of that product before you start thinking about sales. Then you go out there and you try and sell it. Now, yeah, having sales skills is very important as people, anybody who knows in business. You can have the greatest product in the world, but if you don't have good marketing and sales, it's not gonna go anywhere. On the other hand, if you have an okay product, but you have good marketing, good marketing sales, you, you'll be able to make a go of it. Ultimately, you want something that has a good product and good sales and you're fine. But you, know, you don't wanna step ahead of yourself. I think if you're first starting out, I would work on the product, maybe buy a book on sales or something, or take a quick course on sales, but let's get that product out there as quickly as possible, see what happens. Uh, when you see that you got some traction, meaning some people are interested and it looks interesting, then maybe you could uh, start looking at uh, sales and marketing a little bit more. Maybe you could partner with somebody or hire a consultant or hire somebody if you have, uh, if you're funded, I don't know. But yeah, you don't necessarily, you don't have to go out there and uh, get a uh, sales position before you start being an entrepreneur, that's for sure. Would it help? Yeah, it would help. But if you have a good idea, just start implementing that idea now. If you have no idea of what to do right now, and you're just like, I wanna be an entrepreneur, which is cool, uh, then maybe, yeah, go learn to sell in the meantime. You know, Now the danger is we gotta be careful. When you take a job, whether it's sales or software development job, as a bridge to become an entrepreneur, what happens a lot of times, you start making money in your job and then all of a sudden you get used to that money and you get comfortable with that money. And then all of a sudden being an entrepreneur becomes a little bit less palatable, right? Because there's a lot of risk in that and all of a sudden that money will dry up and you know. So, you know, be careful with that. That all said, the more you learn, the more you earn, the more broad skills that you have, the better off you will be in terms of making decisions. But ultimately the entrepreneur should try to bring in talent in one way or another to take care of jobs or take care of aspects of the of the business that you may not be the best at. So maybe you're a great designer, but you're not good at coding. You know, learn the basics of code so you can get your you know your way around it, so you can communicate with the developers and the coders. But if you're not the greatest coder, then you would hire in a coder. If you're on the other hand a great coder and you're not a great designer, hire in the designer. If you're a great coder, but you're not good at sales, then eventually you build your product starts to work, then you bring in sales experts. One thing I've learned over the decades is that uh, you have to figure out where your talents lie, double down on your own talents, and then bring in other people who will compensate you for where, in areas where you may not be good at. So yeah, don't, don't try to become a mediocre salesperson if you're not inclined to sales. Don't try to become a mediocre programmer if you're not inclined to be a programmer. That said, if you're in the tech game, it's, it's smart to learn at least the found, fundamentals of coding and development so that you understand the possibilities out there and you understand the landscape so you can just speak to developers in their language, uh, which will make you more efficient as a product owner. Anyway, I hope that helps. We'll talk soon, bye.